With his impulse to kill growing stronger day by day and law enforcement in Utah now closing in, Bundy knows he must once again hit the road. Ted and I had planned a ski trip to Colorado. He pulled up in his Volkswagen and he said, you know, I just need some time alone. Do you mind if I cancel and just go by myself? And I said, sure. And he drove off. Larry has no idea Bundy's heading for new hunting grounds. I'm sitting in my office and I get a call and Ted says, uh, Larry, I'm in jail. So what do you mean you're in jail? So I'm in the county jail, I've been arrested. What were you arrested for? And they said, they think I'm the Ted murderer. And I laughed, I said, come on, Bundy, you gotta be kidding. And he said, no, and you're my call. Ted's friend is incredulous. He's innocent, they've made a mistake. I mean, how do you get a young lady to get into your car? Well, you know, when you're a stranger. He was very outgoing, very friendly, very convincing. Never gave it another thought. Didn't even consider Ted Bundy, Ted Murderer. I didn't connect the two. He didn't show any outward, uh, gosh, I could be guilty. I mean, from my perspective, it, it just didn't show. Larry Anderson still can't believe the news. I went to the state prison to visit Ted. We talked about, is there any chance you really did this? It's then Ted lifts his mask ever so slightly. He would say, well, if I was somebody that had done this, this is what I would have done. And then you look back and say, he was telling us how he did this. I never wrote Ted or visited him after that point. You're a friend of Ted Bundy and a phone call tells you the FBI has found body parts of the girls that were murdered in Colorado in Ted's car. Obviously, your mind changes immediately of, gosh, that's not a coincidence, he murdered them. Sickening, absolutely sickening. You get a call, uh, have you read the news? Bundy, who we now know is guilty, escaped. And you go, you've gotta be kidding. Here's Ted in his three-piece suit. He's being charming, demure, but then they bring out this evidence that is showing exactly who he is. That was the monster, and he's trying to pretend that that person doesn't exist. And they bring out the evidence of the reality of Ted Bundy. Sort of a delicious irony. And watch the court proceedings. I thought, oh my hell, he's been guilty all the time. People who knew him, who knew he was guilty, put it all together and said, wow, wonder how many. I look back and say, what could have I done? How, how did I not know? How did I not feel? How did I not see that this guy was bad? If you have a friend and you support him, and then you find out he's actually a murderer, it turns your stomach. And that doesn't go away. I'm 73 and I still feel that way. <laughs>